Simon, a phenomenal performance. Once again, uh, you're playing an integral part. Uh, just how incredible does that rate amongst some of the Essex performances that you've been involved in? Yeah, I think um, it's maybe not often that we find ourselves backs against the wall like that. Um, I think yesterday afternoon, or yesterday morning even, with me getting out in the first over, um, for us to sort of rally together, for Ben Allison to have batted the way that he did in his sort of second game, um, was incredible. Uh, the way that Paul Walter batted as well, Sammy Cook, even Paul's coming in at the end there. For us to sort of conjure up 160 odd for them to chase, I think it really gave the boys belief and I think what we've achieved over the last sort of four years gave us the belief that we could still win from the position that we were in. So um, yeah, I think it shows the character of the boys, it shows that um, we're not only good when we're ahead, um, but we find ways to win. Um, I mean, I can remember in, I think it was in 2017, uh, Hampshire made us follow on down at the Rose Bowl and we managed to find a way back. Um, so it's definitely in the category of, of those sort of games. I think we've done incredibly well to, to come back into this game um, and the belief shown by everybody. Um, through the four days, we weren't at our best by any means, but we found a way to win. Completely contrast in the performance of the wicket uh, compared to the Worcestershire game, wasn't it? Yeah, I think um, I think we need to remember that it's April. Um, we didn't play any cricket in April last year. Um, a lot of our first games over the last few years have been away from home, so uh, we haven't played a lot of cricket at Chelmsford uh, in April. I think last week's wicket was a very good wicket. This week's wicket was a very good wicket. I don't think the scores represent as sort of what sort of wicket it was, how good of a wicket it was. Um, so yeah, I mean it's April. I think we're used to the ball doing all sorts of Chelmsford spinning, seeming for the seamers. Um, so it's good in a way. Like we need to find other ways to win. Um, last week was disappointing to to not get a result, but um, I mean Worcester batted really well. So take that on the chin. Um, like I said, we weren't at our best this week, but but we found a way back into the game. I know when we were talking earlier, um, you haven't played as much cricket as you would have wanted to back back home. Um, you've certainly got in the groove pretty quickly here, haven't you? And it's, it's all about rhythm, isn't it, for, for, for bowlers anyway? And you've found that rhythm now. Yeah, I think it's it's finding a way on, on different wickets, last week's wicket to this week's wicket. Different balls work, different variations work. Um, speed, trajectory, all of that plays a part. So. Um, the quicker you work it out, um, I think the easier it is. Um, so yeah, it's getting back into the groove of, of thinking in the right way, um, doing the right basics. I think that's the biggest thing at the start of the season is, is make, making sure that your basics are right because sort of come June, it's pretty much press a button and off you go. I know we've talked again before. Um, I know you set yourself personal targets, but you'll never reveal them until the end of the season and say, yeah, I, I tick that box, I don't. Um, all I can say is I presume that you've got targets for yourself. Are you ahead of the target, but just the second game in the season? No, I, I don't think any of the, the sort of goals have been reached as of yet. Um, it's a long season. We're only two games in. Um, I think as was shown in this game, you can't touch the money. Um, and we've got a long way to go. It's a different format, a uh, peculiar format this season of of having sort of 10 games and then changing things and starting a new group. And so for us, the first objective is to make it through to the next round. Um, and from there, I think there's a little bit more on the line because there's not really much room for error. So. We need to try and, and find our rhythm as quickly as we can because um, sort of come round two, if I can put it that way, that's, that's when it really counts. So we need to make sure that, that we get through. That's top of the list at the moment. But as far as your own personal achievements goes, great to having a, another temper in the bag. Just the second game of the season, isn't it? Yeah, um, I really enjoy taking wickets in the second innings of a game. I think that's when they matter. Um, 
it's easy to take wickets. Not easy to take wickets, but it's easy to take wickets in the first innings and look back and be happy with that. When actually, second wicket innings is, is what wins teams games. And so yeah, so to do that today, to come in when we needed it, um, was it's always enjoyable. And <clears throat> I think the biggest thing is if we had sat down afterwards and had not won the game, the work and effort done by Paul Walter, Ben Allison, um, yesterday would have been sort of glossed over. So I think, well, I hope that this will sort of highlight the important runs that they scored yesterday because ultimately without their runs, we wouldn't have much to bowl to today. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's always nice taking wickets and, and like I said, second innings wickets for me are a lot more enjoyable and important than first innings. Finally, I mean, the outcome, the result of this game totally um, underlines the camaraderie, character and the strength of the whole squad, doesn't it? Yeah, I think um, for us to be in a situation where we were yesterday morning um, and to find a way out of that, um, as I said, I think I've always said this, that Essex has what money cannot buy. Um, and it is, it's in situations like that where like it's about the group of guys that you're on the field with. Like you don't want to let them down when you're going out to bat. It's not about me scoring runs or me taking wickets. About the boys back in the change room and how much that means to you and means to us as a group. Um, and I definitely think that that's how we sort of find ways out of the situations that we find ourselves in. Um, we're willing to fight for one another. Um, it's not about like me. It's about us. Um, and there's a lot more to sort of situations because of the the mates that you've got around you. So um, you yeah, are really enjoyable to see sort of the character again shown um, by this group of players and and local Essex boys.